Hello, 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 everybody. How you doing? It's Color and Chat with Joanna and a big fat mess. Yeah, we're doing it. We are kidding up. I'm actually about halfway there. These are my spares. Look at how many dupes I have. I mean, can you believe this? I don't even know if I'm going to be able to zip the back. Anyway, uh, how are you today? Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy, happy, happy. I hope you find a five-leaf clover or a man with a lot of money. Um, whatever you happen to be looking for. Uh, well, I were trying to make me husband the corned beef. Now, let me tell you something about the corned beef. I'm not a fan of the corned beef. There are people who love the corned beef. I don't. You know, there are people who say, well, corned beef is not pastrami. pastrami it's, it's the same thing. It's just been smoked. And I was like, I don't care. I don't care for it. 603. Hold on. I got to do two things at once. And it's very difficult. Um, crap. It's already full. And I cut it open. See, if I don't cut it open, it's so much easier. 603 is 30. I was trying to make, I make it every year. I don't like it. I can't stand the taste of cabbage. But I've got a little trick, and that is uh, throw five or six pieces of bacon in the oven and let it cook. And then drain the grease. Did you just do that? Why would you do that to me? You little arrogant thing. Um, I know it looks like a mess, but I really do find kidding up kind of cathartic. Do you guys like kidding up or do you just hate it? Because it's a like-hate thing. It really, really is. I mean, you cannot... You know, it's love it or hate it. I happen to like it. I don't care that I'm making a mess because a long-suffering husband got a cool new table back. But anyway, back to the corned beef. The corned beef. Okay. You got to cook the cabbage separately. And when you cook it, put the bacon grease in it. And it gives it some flavor because there ain't nothing. Nothing as disgusting as plain old cabbage. I mean, you're going to feel like one of the famine girls again. And who wants to feel like that? You know, it's terrible. 987 is 53. I mean, really. I say cram as much flavor as you can into it. Now, I had a can of Guinness beer, and, okay, there's, this, there's a mystery going on in this house. Somebody says it got knocked over, but I saw George, and I think he drank it. I do. I think that little beggar had himself a little, a little party all his own. You know, he had to because I can't find the beer anywhere. There's, it's not spilled anywhere. It's a dark beer, so it would stain, right? Oh, I love this color so much. I really do. Don't you? Don't you love that color? Isn't that pretty? Reminds me of Marilyn Monroe's gown. You know, the one that the Kardashian destroyed. Oh, don't get me going on that. But anyway, so I'm making the corned beef, and I and I'm not a corned beef girl. I'm probably gonna have myself a bowl of chicken salad. I don't know. I don't know. I do like the potatoes though. The potatoes always come out nice. Cause if you're Irish and you don't know how to make a potato. You need to go to a center and explain to them why 
you do not know how to make a potato. But what I do is, after I use the five or six pieces of bacon, I crumble them up and put them in the potatoes, and they're so good. They're so good. That and about three and a half pounds of butter. Uh, not going to make that one either. Every one of these has had to have an overflow bag. I swear, I am like, <sighs> and this is not even like, I mean, some of them are like really packed. So, I'm making overflow bags. I really wish I had my, uh, my bigger kit. I have the big kit with these guys, and it has two rows, and it holds like eight zillion. Yeah. You know what I did with it? I kitted it up to do the holiday camper months ago. Well, everything went everywhere all at the same time, and you know, you know how that goes. I never wound up doing it. I, I just, I think I have to feel like I'm in the mood to do something. And I'm really in the mood to do Cupcake Bakery. And not only am I in the mood to do it, but I have kind of a timeline now. You know, because I'm going to get it done by Easter and get, um, 120 is one. Oh, that's a lot. A lot of ABs. They're not going to fit in here either. Nope, like half a bag. Anyway, um, because of my rabbits. The rabbits changed everything. I mean, I was all ready to do the holiday camper. Oh, my God, it has so many drills. I mean, it has, like, hold on. Oh. These are the overflows. Look at that. After you fill up the tub, these are the overflows. And I have, like, 18 of them. I'm like, oh my God, it's going to take me forever to do that. But I just wasn't in the mood, you know. Um, I saw Cupcake Bakery. I don't have anything like with a rabbit or rabbits. So I said, why don't I just try to blend the colors? And this is going to be beautiful on my dining room wall for now. And then I'm going to do the fox and the hound, the lady. You know, the lady who is in the middle of the blue uh, forest and she's she's got a fox wrapped around her. She's kind of naked, but you don't really see anything. She's going to be my dining room piece. Her and the two foxes I have in the woods. But that's more for winter, and so I really wanted to get the summer stuff out of the way. But man, oh man, oh man. Girl, I'm not sure I signed up for the right challenge. I, I'm, I'm going to do it. I have 23 days. And, uh, now, can I, I don't know. I'm going to try my best. I don't have anything on my plate except swimming. That's all I have left to do is swim. So, you know, I can get up in the morning, go do my swim if I'll ever get the guts to go back to the Go back to the pool. I can't. I can't. I've seen too much.
Forgive me, I hit my microphone. I've seen too much. I have heard too much. And they all know, even the lifeguards, they all know. They're like, honey, you're in the wrong room. I was like, I know. What are you going to do? Up oh, that one I cut again. <clears throat> but I'm excited to do it. Oh, great. Please don't be dead. Please don't be dead. Oh, thank God. Ah. So, what are you guys working on? I know there's so many events coming up. I, I had to dip out. Now, I am going to be a cheerleader for all you Chucky people out there. But I got to tell you, I'm just, you know, I really love the Seaside Cottage and some of the other ones I have. But they're not calling to me like this one is. And the reason this one is calling to me is because of my rabbits. My rabbits. I can't wait. They're going to be here in like a week. I already got a tracking number on them. Um, and, uh, yeah, so we're going to, so we're going to do a big fat monster painting in 23 days. How hard can it be, right? I think what I'm going to do is put the release papers on it. I've got it under here right now. It's This part is stretching out, and then that part will stretch out over the night. Um, and I'm going to... Where was I? 38, 48. This is really hard for ADD people. 66. She can go in there. And she can go in there. Um, it is so hard. Three o two. One is fifty five. Anyway, I figure if I get her kitted up tonight, get all cleaned up, clean up all my mess. Take down all this St. Patrick's Day crap. Feed long suffering is corned beef. Oh, God. I don't know. Do you know people in Ireland don't even eat corned beef? Do you know that? They don't even know what corned beef is. But according to the American tradition, when the Irish came here, we came like every other immigrant. Nobody wanted to work with us. Nobody wanted anybody to hire the Irish. There were signs all over, you know, we're hiring, but no Irish. And, uh, you know, we, we lived in the slums of New York, just like everybody else. Everybody starts at the bottom in this country. I hate that. I really do. There's got to be a better way. But... They would eat the corned beef because the corned beef was cheap. Like, I mean, 12 cents a pound. And, uh, yeah, they, there was all they could afford. So they would, but it was meant to be a religious holiday to go say thank you to St. Patrick and, you know, uh, give a high ho to, to old St. Pat because he's the one who chased all the snakes out of Ireland. Now, are there snakes in Ireland? I don't think so. You could try to find one. But um, in all reality, uh, the climate would never work. It gets too freaking cold there. It's cold there in July. I mean, believe me. Don't go to Ireland without... Money to buy a good Irish sweater, which I have the Irish cardigan that cost me a month's rent or something. Or uh, bring bring clothing. 
layered clothing because you know you may have a hot day and then you may have a cold day um but i love the climate in ireland i love it i love it i love it so if you're not going to uh make oh my god i still have to make the cabbage oh damn it oh god it's like boiling dog feet it's so gross oh god anyway wish me luck i'm gonna finish this up and then i'm going to uh come on real quick and show you how this all gets vacuumed up because it's so cool the this this is my favorite new gadget and it's so nice to get a gadget that works because, you know, 99% of them don't. Okay, so I am kitted up. But I want to show you this cool little gadget that I got. Because I just love the gadgets work. Um, I'm going to just move my clutter over here. And Hubby is going to go for it. Look at this. Vacuum on the diamond thing. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My arm. You didn't vacuum my arm. Um, is that cool or what? That has so much power in it. It's on Amazon. What's cool about it is you can use it for your table. You missed one. Oops. 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 <laughs> Thank you. We can use it for cleaning out the car after the dogs go to the beach. You can use it for cleaning out your computer keys. That thing's got power in it. I love it. And I am not picking up drills anymore because I am a sloppy kidder upper. Okay? We all know that. Um, oh, one got away. He thought he did. Okay. And they're not all over my floor. So, I just wanted to add that one little thing. Little product, little product bougie. I'm not got paid by Amazon and I'm not see he didn't see these. I've seen them, they'd be gone. I am not paid by Amazon. Just wanted to show you guys and how well it works. Everybody have a happy St. Patrick's Day. Love you guys. Remember, you're important to me. So be important to you. Take care of you. Have a happy St. Patrick's Day. If you're gonna go a drinking. Get a designated driver, please. Go find that nerdy girl who lives down the way and throw her 20 bucks and say, hey, I'll pay for your burger if you'll drive me, okay? Or Uber the thing, but do not drive and drink. I mean it. This is a, this is a deal breaker for me, okay? And I got a reason why. So don't do it. Anyway, I love you guys. Shine on and take care, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.